Hey fitness friends, it's a beautiful day here in New York City's Central Park. Obviously you can see why it's the perfect time of year to get outside and get moving. Now taking a long walk or going for a run is obviously great for your cardiovascular health, but don't forget adding some strength training to your workout routine is a great way to burn extra calories and get your body in tip top shape. So I'm going to show you a few exercises you can bang out at a park near you. All you need is your body weight and a park bench. So we're going to start out with a classic, the squat. It's a great multi-joint exercise that works the glutes, the quads, and the hamstrings when executed correctly. Now here's the thing, you don't really need a bench to do a squat, but since you're out in the park, you can use it as a marker to make sure you're really getting into a seated position and not cheating and just going through the motions. Now you're set up for a proper squat. You want to make sure that your feet are shoulder width apart, your toes should be pointed straight in front of you keeping a nice neutral spine and draw in your navel so you're protecting your lower back. And basically all you want to do is you want to sit down and pop right back up again. Again, you don't want to hang out on the bottom, it's just you know that you're getting into a seated position. When you go down and then push up, you're pushing through your heels and really contracting your glutes to get the most out of the exercise. Now you can either keep your hands on your hips as I have them here, you can do a little faster motion if you want to power through your squats, Inhaling down, exhaling up, or you can simply put your hands kind of to the crown of your head and execute them that way. Basically, when you get these down, you want to aim for 15 reps. Now we're going to work on a box jump. I should warn you, this is a power leg exercise. It's not necessarily for a fitness novice. If you have some athleticism, this is a super fun exercise to do, especially in a surrounding like a park. Now the key with the box jump is, when you do it, you're gonna face the bench, of course, and you really wanna keep your chest up through the action, and you wanna use your arms for propulsion and land softly and then pop up through the hip. I just delayed a little bit. I'm gonna show you in real time now. So you always want to land softly, and using your arms, whew, pop up, pop back down. I'll show you one more. Keep that chest up as quickly as you can, pop back down. Now, like I said, definitely not for everyone, but you can do a modified version of this to kind of keep the heart rate going. One leg at a time, right then left. So you're gonna step up right, step up left, down right, down left. Still keeping your chest up, elevated, and don't forget to breathe through the exercise. So either way, this is a great way to mix up your routine. And basically with a box jump, depending on your fitness level or any fitness level actually, 10 reps should do it. Now we're gonna kick your core into high gear, literally. For this exercise, you're going to be seated on the bench. You want your booty scooted pretty much right up to the edge of it. You're gonna have a nice flat back and you're gonna use your palms nice and flat for support, kind of bracing those triceps. You're gonna hinge back slightly. You're gonna draw your knees into your chest and the movement is you're gonna push those legs out and then bring them in again. The key here is you wanna keep your navel drawn in nice and tight so that you can continue the exercise. And also do your best to keep your legs at least at horizontal. You don't want them dropping down because that means your hip flexors are gonna end up doing most of the work. This exercise, you wanna aim for about 12 to 15 reps. Now we're gonna do one of my favorite exercises, the push-up. This is a great exercise for your chest, for the front of your shoulders, and when it's done correctly, it's a really great core exercise as well. So we're gonna go right down onto the bench and get this thing going. Basically, you wanna make sure that your hands are underneath your shoulders as you kick your feet back. And the key here is you wanna draw in your navel and squeeze your glutes super tight before you lower down and then you're gonna push right back up again. You're gonna keep your head in a nice neutral position, inhale down, exhale on the way up. So again, the key here is you wanna make sure you keep your navel drawn in and those glutes squeeze super tight through every single rep and protect that lower back. Now basically, depending on your fitness level, you're gonna to wanna to aim to do 10 to 20 reps of the push-up. Now for the good old fashioned dip. This is a wonderful exercise for your triceps. And think about it, when do we really use our triceps in our daily routine? We really do need to give them a little work. So this is a great exercise for that. So the bench is great for it too because it gives us a great support. Again, make sure that your, the, the palm of your hand is really nicely on there. And you wanna walk your feet out enough that you can do a nice safe bend. And the key here, as you lower your butt to the ground, you don't wanna shrug your shoulders. You're gonna put extra pressure on your shoulder joint. That's not good. So keep up nice and straight as you dip down and push back up again. You're gonna inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. 
So again, great exercise. If you want to give yourself an extra challenge, you can walk your feet out a little bit more, maybe straighten out those legs. It's just going to give a little bit more tension into your triceps. Inhaling again, down, exhaling up. And basically, depending on your fitness level, this is another exercise you'll want to do 10 to 20 reps. So there are a few ways you can put these exercises together. You can either say start with the squat, bang out 15 reps, take about 10 to 15 second break, and then do another set of squats before you move on to the next exercise. Or another way to do it is to build a circuit. Basically you would start off with the squat, move directly on to say the box jump, and keep moving down the line of exercises until you've completed all of them and then take about a minute rest before starting the circuit again. You could try to do that circuit about two to three times. If you really want to amp things up, instead of taking that minute break between circuits, you can either run a lap around the park, maybe do a sprint, do some jumping jacks in place, or if you have a backpack with you, a very portable workout tool is a jump rope. It can go anywhere. So bring out the jump rope, go to town, and just know that the side effects may include breaking a sweat and a huge endorphin rush. Well, now it's time for you to get out there and get moving. If you need some more motivation, please check out my blog at lauralovesfitness.com. Thank you so much for stopping by, and here's to a great season ahead filled with endless opportunities to have fun, be fit, and feel fabulous.